many of you probably already know I've been getting a lot of messages and for that I really appreciate a lot of you reaching out and checking up on me and my family and it may not sound like a big deal to some of you guys out there but for those who really love animals you can hear my dog Dak in the background I'm in my house my llama just farted that <laughs> Did you just pass gas? I've never heard a llama fart before. Hey, you got a problema? <laughs> I think she has a problema. I was kind of a good start to a very sad video. I did mention on social media that I lost my baby cookie. And it's crazy because just, I don't know, just yesterday, day before yesterday, I was showing her and letting y'all know that she was okay because a lot of you have been asking about cookie and it's just it's crazy i mean it just it goes to show you how much i was not prepared to losing her so we uh ended up getting a phone call and we left for one night we drove up to tennessee i'm kind of rewinding i'm going to be uploading that video next where we go to a haunted hospital but we we went just for the night we drove all the way to Tennessee it took us like maybe nine ten hours spent the night filmed the video and came back the following day I mean it was just like a you know go film and then come back kind of move because we didn't want to be gone that long for many reasons because of the farm because of our dogs well we get a phone call the night that we were in our hotel I mean, it was like four o'clock in the morning and cookie is just crying she's crying and boston couldn't really figure out what was wrong with her she went under his bed we ended up leaving a lot earlier in the morning just to make sure that we're there for our baby cookie and she did not stop crying it was just like a i don't know i, I did have some doggy aspirin that i told them to give her and that seemed to help a little bit but she was literally just crying the entire day we didn't waste any time as soon as we got into town, we went straight to get Cookie. She went on her little bed. I mean, we figured maybe that's what it was. Maybe she was uncomfortable. And, you know, she went. we went back to our old house. That's where, you know, that's where she was being watched. We bring her back to the Safe Haven Ranch and bring her to her little bed. And she drinks water and she, she goes to bed. You know, it's, at the time it was, you know, 10 o'clock at night. And I'm awakened at three o'clock in the morning to cookie crying something i've never seen I've, I've seen her in the past maybe have like a like a seizure and and fall over and i mean that was really sad to see but i'd never seen her cry this much and and her back legs not working i mean i tried to like help her up a few times and when, once i did she would just keep going in these circles and i knew that i had to I don't know at this point i just feel like this is this is probably her time and she just falls over she's having a hard time with her back legs i don't understand she was like fine yesterday I didn't want to put her to sleep unless I knew for sure that what she was going through was incurable. So I did have the vet check her out and she came to the conclusion that she has severe pain and she has a spinal condition. The vet did mention that we can try to put her on these really heavy medications and then at that point, you know, is it worth it because her quality of life is already diminished? Is she going to be like a zombie i mean she already sleeps a lot she's older i didn't really want to go that route if it meant that she was going to suffer more so i mean the pain just seemed like it was getting worse i mean her crying was was worse i mean it just she kept crying and crying and crying and it's a spinal something 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 so at her age, it's normal to get this like infection or it's a disease in her spine. And she's like in a lot of pain. So they're gonna...
said if she was like three or four, they could. When the vet looked at her, she was like, you know, hey, like, let's give her some pain medication. It was equal to something that they give the animals for surgery. And she was still crying. So just to show you the level of pain that she was in. And as a pet owner, I mean, somebody that, that I just love so much, my dog. I mean, I'm sure you can agree with me that you don't want to be selfish and you know, try everything you can. I mean, yeah, that's, you have to fight at some point, but when, when these beings are suffering to the point where they just, they can't suffer no more, you can't be selfish. You just have to let them go. And I reached that decision, even though it was probably the hardest decision I ever made in my entire life. Goodbye, Cookie. Goodbye. <laughs> Say hi to Jesus for me. I'll we'll see you again one day. I promise I will. Sedator. And it didn't even touch the pain. The stuff that was supposed to, like, put her under for, like, surgery and stuff, it just sedated her. Like, to, and it was supposed to last 45 minutes, and it only gave her, like, five or 10 minutes. The sedative that they gave her, it just, it wasn't working. I mean, she was still crying. I mean, but she was like a little loopy. They ended up giving her a heavier dose. It seemed to help. She wasn't crying anymore and she was kind of a little bit out of it. But after maybe five, 10 minutes, you can tell that that pain was coming back. And even the doctor looked at me and she's like, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. and. They gave her the euthanasia. I don't know if that's what it's called. And the doctor had like her stethoscope right on Cookie's heart. And I mean, it literally, it was just like seconds. She was just like, and I'll never, I'll never forget this. And just, I'm like, I'm holding her little face. And she's just like, she's gone. I mean, just like that will always forever be in my mind. Just like overnight, like she was like a puppy. And then it's like, you know, she's gone. There's my llama. <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> she's so lovable. You know that I'm hurting, huh? You know that I'm hurting. I love you. We love our animals. And they love us. You do both. <laughs> I think the hardest part was getting the phone call that her remains were ready to be picked up. I mean, actually, that wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part was actually knowing that all what's left of your baby is in this little, this little box. They were so nice to us at the animal hospital, the overnight, actually it was an emergency animal hospital that we uh, went and got them some Dunkin' Donuts, some assorted, donuts they seem like they're really busy when we got here I mean, it was four in the morning yeah there was nobody, there was nobody here. here but i really love the way the doctor she kind of like sympathized with us i mean she was at one point even crying with me yeah she and was really patient yeah i mean i could just tell that she really was looking out for cookie and uh we're here we're here we're this is kind of a it's sad because we're gonna pick up her remains right now and like a cute little urn. We gotta put a little picture and I mean, I guess that's a little bit better than like just burying your dog in the backyard. Like you could have something yeah. tangible. She could still be in the house with us. Yeah. All right, let's take these in there and go get Cookie's Memorial. I don't know, what do you even call it? I hate to say it's Cookie, but it is. It's her remains, her ashes. Yeah. All right. So we gave them their donuts and I don't know, just like walking up into the animal hospitals, like the smell, like everything was just, it just took me back to that, that moment, you know, where uh, it just keeps replaying in my mind, like just, 
you know, losing my dog. And you know, it's, I, I hate even calling her a dog. It's just, it's, it's a person to me. You know, somebody that you're with every single day for the last 16 years and just like, just like that, they're gone, you know. And I don't care what you say. I mean, nothing can prepare you. I mean, I knew that she was old and she was going to be possibly on her way out soon, but I mean, you just never prepared. And I've never lost a dog, so I mean. <sighs> and it says Cookie Escobar. And then it says Ocho Popocho, like two <laughs> words. It's really supposed to be one word. But Where's the. I think this is it. So this. We're supposed to put like oh, a little okay. picture of her and we're gonna, gonna find like a nice picture of her. But this is uh this is my baby. Oh glad they gave me this. Oh, is that her hair? Yeah. What's crazy is like... You said it. Yeah. Yeah. Like when we were on our way out, I was like, I wish I had a pair of scissors with me. I wanted to cut a piece of her hair to have her hair. And actually, you know, that was pretty awesome. And you didn't even say that to the vet. They... No. They did that on their own. What's this? It was really nice, man. They really went above and beyond. This is my forever pet. <gasps> is it's that really her paw cool. print? <sighs> wow, they did so much nice stuff. It says, there's something missing in my home. I feel it day and night. I know it will take time and strength before things feel quite right. But just for now, I need to mourn. My heart it needs to mend. Though some may say it's just a pet. I know I've lost a friend. You've brought such laughter to my home. And richness to my days. A constant friend through joy or loss with gentle loving ways. Companion, friend, and confidant. A friend I won't forget. You'll live forever in my heart, my sweet forever pet. That's really sweet. I'm gonna miss you so much, Cookie. It's crazy, because, like, in my last video, I was, like, just saying... You know, a lot of you've been asking about Cookie, and you know, we even joked around and said like she's a vampire. Cause I mean, I thought we were gonna lose her like a couple years back, and like I held her up and I was like, I love you, Cookie, and I give her a kiss. I mean, that was like, what's the last, what's the last video I have of her? I mean, other than you know when we were here, but I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm sorry, I, I don't really cry, I really don't. I don't mean, be apologizing for crying. I know, I just. I'm gonna miss Cookie. And she was irreplaceable. I, mean, I know we have Luna and we have Chloe. And got Dak and Gracie and we got a whole farm, but I mean, no matter what, like, like she was my first, my first dog that I, I kept from a puppy to now, you know? I mean, she was around when my kids were babies. You know, my, my kids don't even remember a life without her. So, I mean, it's it's really tough losing a pet. If you've ever lost a pet, could probably resonate with what I'm feeling right now. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anybody's gone through this pain. I mean, it's like just it's like losing a family member, you know. But in a way, I am like I'm happy that she's not suffering and 
she's in a better place, far better place than we are right now. But uh, I'm grateful for these individuals that put this together. And There's it, something else in there too. Is there? Uh, I'm just really grateful. What's his cooking? Oh, our sympathy for your loss. So, this is um, talk about the Rainbow Bridge and uh, certificate of cremation. If I go before you, what? I'm probably going before you. Put this with me. I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. Okay. She's not hurt anymore. But I am. I'll be okay. I'm sorry, you can turn it off. I'm so sorry that I was just a really hot mess. I mean, a lot of you may say, like, just a dog, man. Like, chill out. Like, not just a dog. And I think anybody with a heart, whether or not you like animals or not, actually, I, I think you would really have to understand the bond between man and dog to understand how much love not just a dog, maybe like if you're a cat lover, if you're a llama lover, I mean, whatever. It's just, they love you so much. They depend on you. You could tell that they're just like other people. But I think they're even better because the love that you get from a dog is just unconditional. You know, people can be mean to their dogs and their dogs are just, they're still so open hearted and loving towards their owners. Cookie had a good life. She had a great life here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I mean, before the Safe Haven Ranch. I'm glad she got to be here for a little bit. She even met Dak and Gracie, which is kind of cool. And they're puppies. I didn't want to make this video, to be honest, but I felt like maybe I needed it for healing. Maybe I needed to tell someone out there that I understand their pain. It was the first time I've gone through this pain. I've lost animals before, but I've never lost a dog. I've never lost a llama. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You're so cute. What's your problema? I'm going to get some merch that says that. You got a problema? Yeah, if you cried along with me, thank you so much. It really means a lot. I've uh, made a community here. It, you know we're, we're family we laugh together we cry together all right i gotta go check on my animals it seems like they're getting in trouble back there gotta go for now before we leave give me a kiss